have a president and founder who always is out front, always on time, and always being part of making our history and making our history positive. Our president and founder, the Reverend Dr. Al Sharpton. concern the congressional hearings on steroids. I sat and watched as Roger Clemens and his former trainer sat before the Congress to testify about steroid use. One of the things that was most interesting to a parliament was the way that some of the members of Congress treated Roger Clements like they were at a fan club meeting yeah. rather than at a congressional inquiry. Right. Right. Now don't get me wrong, Roger Clements was a great athlete when he played. No one takes that from him, no one disrespects that. But if the purpose of the proceedings was to deal with law, then the celebrity of the person should have nothing to do with it anymore when they deal with those celebrities in our community. All right, right, all right. If a black is subjected to a legal proceeding, and we in the civil rights community say something, we say we should not ask them to get a pass. And they're right. That's why I did not attend OJ's trial, I did not attend Michael Jackson's trial, who I know well. Because if it is not a civil rights violation, I leave it alone. Right. But I know Michael. Right. The issue then is that if we should not, Acts were passed based on celebrity. Uh -huh. Members of Congress ought not yeah, give a symbolic pass or send the signals of a pass based on the celebrity of Roger Clemens. All right. But there's something more deeply disturbing to me than that. According to the testimony of Roger Clemens, he said he did not use steroids uh -huh. at no point. His trainer says he did and said in fact that he administered it. Which means somebody under oath is lying. We ain't talking about a gray area here now. One says yes, other said no. There's no equivocation, there's no mid-ground, it's yes or no, which means either the yes guy or the no guy is lying and under oath, that is called prejudice. It is not only called prejudice, it's called obstruction of justice. Because you interfered, am I right, with an investigation. Am I right, attorney? So you got somebody doesn't have to be Clemens, it could be the trainer. It doesn't have to be the trainer, it could be Clemens. Somebody is in, over the line, in the area of perjury or obstruction. Now, people come back to me and say, well, Reverend, it ain't that serious, it's just steroids, it ain't hurt nobody. And the, you're dealing with a major celebrity that made a lot of money for the sport. That's true. But there's one problem with that. It's called Barry Bonds. Yeah. 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 Barry Bonds is under federal indictment right now. For what? Not steroids, for prejudice and obstruction. The exact things that either Clements or his
is traitor. Obviously it's done. You have prosecuted Barry Bonds on And you did not say don't prosecute Bonds because he made the sport a lot of money. You did not say don't prosecute Bonds because he gives a lot to charity and he does. You did not say don't prosecute Bonds because Bonds has the number one record in home runs in the history of the sport. When you are black, you become subject to a different reaction and we're not going to be quiet in the imbalance in the criminal justice system. That's why we were brought here against our will. Put in the halls, the bows of ships, chained to each other. I think about that sometimes. We went to Gurry Island years ago. I went to Ghana. A couple of years ago, stand there and watch and see the rooms that our forefathers had to stand in. Rooms for 50, that they squeezed 1,200 in. And they had to stand shoulder to shoulder, butt naked. Supposed to have been in there for a few days, some had to stand for months. No bathroom facilities. Ate whatever they was given. If they had to defecate, just did it on themselves right there, stood there. People next to them get sick, some die. You couldn't take them out of your chain just standing there. And after waiting for months, you finally go through what they call a door, no return. I stood there in the archway of the door, no return. Once you went through that door, you either died in the Atlantic Ocean, or you made it to America and became a slave. Many died going across that ocean. Pneumonia, all kinds of diseases killed most of them off. And only the strong that could weather the storm, only the strong that could take the turbulent seas, only the strong that could face down pneumonias and flus and other diseases made it to these shores. That was the crucifixion. Came to serve free labor, came as chattel property. That was the Calvary we had. But 400 years later, look at us now. China, Africa, lead candidate for president. Look at us now. Young kids in the plantation master's house, rapping our music and dancing out there. Look at us now. You thought you killed us, but I believe in a God of the resurrection. Can't no grave hold my body down. I may go down, but I'm coming up again. There is a God that sits high. Others can do what they want to do. That's their business. Other civil rights leaders, for various reasons, refuse or can't take a stand or have to go along with the administration. That's their business. But I'm a say tonight that I know that justice is indivisible. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere.